Hey, First Press, we're here uh, at the Caring Ministry in the, in the Moms and Babies Room with Director Marcia Mayfield. Marcia, how are you Hello. doing today? Hello, I'm yes. doing great, doing great. Hi, everyone. <laughs> uh, Marcia couldn't be here with us this Sunday. She's in a training this weekend, but we wanted, because we're talking about into the neighborhood, into uh, which is mission and part of our vision, following Jesus everywhere into the neighborhood. We wanted to briefly talk with with Marcia. Marcia, what has got you so, what's got you really excited about the work you do here at, at the Caring Ministry? You know, here lately I've been really pumped by how missions is reciprocal. You know, I feel like, you know, you go to give to someone, you go to give to the families and you go to give to the different people, but what you receive back from them, it kind of ignites um, both parties mm-hmm. and then it just like pours into the neighborhood and it just like kind of um, supersizes mm-hmm. you know everything that you're doing um, you know when I go to serve at, at Delphia House and I'm just playing Jingo uh, but the ladies that are, are are giving to me and you know what they're saying and their their testimony and their love for things it's just when it all comes together it's amazing like we all need each other so, so Delphia House, what do they, what do they do specifically to minister? Delphia House is um, a senior citizens apartment complex. Um, so we just go there to just share. It's still really just to fellowship, um, and I'll just like host the bingo jingo game um, and do some things in their garden and just give people an opportunity to talk, you know, and to chit chat and to just have fun and. It's um, it's an important service. I didn't realize how important it was to them. I give away little, you know, dish liquid and things like that, but they absolutely love it, mm-hmm. and that's what they want. And it's um, that reciprocal movement, though, was great, great for me. Well, we're standing in a place where uh, the church has has donated, and we've gotten things in for moms, new moms with new babies. Mm-hmm. There's a ton of stuff you need. Uh, Keishla and Marcia are doing regular appointments. Uh, one recent week, there were already th- there were over thirty appointments in one week oh, to God. help people get in touch with resources that they need, uh, getting food, uh, getting in touch with maybe some utility relief um, and some some ways to prepare themselves for employment possibly. Yes. So there's just a lot of volume right now. For you yes. and Keishla, right? Yes, definitely. So how can a church, we've got a strong core of, of the volunteers, but how can a church, perhaps if, if you're not volunteering anyway, how can they get involved? Um, I believe that there are several ways. There's always the, um, you can be involved with prayer first. You know, sure. of what we do daily is, um, is immense. And sometimes it can hit to your heart. You know very strongly and we need we need the prayers and the prayers for the people there's also donations to the moms and babies room um, because we get a lot of people that are in need um, we get um, the donations even to the food pantry we've more than doubled the number of people that we see since prices are going up and gas is going up we um, really you know donations with food but then also that time and you might not see that you know, where you fit or whatever, but just that reciprocal relation, just giving of your heart to other people is important. You'd be surprised how much, how long it goes just to listen to a story um, and to say as you're walking a person through the moms and babies room to just hear them talk and the relief that they feel to have some space where they feel heard. So if a volunteer comes to you, you can help train them and put them in a place to succeed with the time they have to give, if, yes. if they can do that. When I walked in this morning, there were uh, a couple of volunteers in the the food pantry with a couple of clients, and they were just chit chatting, just going, <laughs> right. just really having a good time. Yes. And I think that's one of the heart of, of of the caring ministry and of our church, and that's why we're so thankful you are here because you open your heart. I see that in the volunteers, and I know we need more volunteers. Uh, and 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 we don't know exactly all the things that are developing right now. There's always new partnerships. Right now, we've got so many new partnerships. <laughs> right. we, but there are different volunteer opportunities through those partnerships. Yes. And, and thank you, Marcy. We're so glad you're here. We, I'm we love so your, glad to be. <laughs> we love your heart for mission and your passion for Christ. 
And we want to thank you for being the director. Thank you all. I love you all. <laughs> Thanks.